Okay, so I had a request. I don't know why I didn't record the whole uh, thing, but I had a request to, to try to record stuff uh, that I was working through. And um, so I guess I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go back uh, and do the problems that I didn't record. Uh, so this will just be me talking without an audience. Um, so I'll start with one. So we're going to do, I think, let me see. I think this, this video is going to cover... Um, one, two, uh, three, I did four and five in the other one. So one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So a fair amount of the exam. So, uh, problem one is really pretty straightforward. Um, and it wasn't meant to trick you, but a lot of folks, I think, overthought this problem. So problem one just wants the contribution margin per procedure. The contribution margin per procedure is the price per procedure minus the variable cost. So the contribution margin um, per procedure come on, uh, is going to be 3,000 minus 1,000 equals 2,000. So that's it. Uh, so the answer was 2,000. It was simply 3,000 minus 1,000. A lot of people overthought it uh, and went for the full uh, P&L, which we'll do here in a second. So then the P&L, uh, can I move this? Let me see. There we go. Uh, the P&L, You have to remember the PNL format. I'm just going to do it over here because it's easier. Uh, so the PNL format is going to be total revenue, and total revenue is going to be uh, three thousand dollars per procedure times two thousand procedures. So that's going to be six million. Total variable cost. is going to equal $1,000 times 2,000 procedures or $2 million, which will give us our total contribution margin, which is gonna equal, let me put that in parentheses. Six thousand, six million minus 2 million or 4 million. Then we're going to subtract our fixed costs, which we're given as three million. And that gives us our profit, four million minus three million is one million. And uh, I can't draw an underline here, but typically I would put an underline under 2 million and I'd put an underline under uh, fixed cost, 3 million, to show the kind of the breaks in the calculation. But it's 6 million minus 2 million gives you 4 million in con total contribution margin. Contribution margin minus fixed cost gives you profit. So that's all there is to that one. Um, I think where people got messed up here was they just basically forgot the format. All right, uh, then how many procedures does Wildcat have to do to perform to break even? Okay, so I'm gonna flip to my, uh, it's easier to do this in, in, with by hand. So the key information that we needed was fixed costs were 3 million, uh, variable cost is 1,000, and price was 3,000. So break even, profit equals, uh, total revenue minus total cost. In this case, um, total revenue. Now, in this case, we're not using the 2,000 procedures, right? That was our base case. In this case, we're looking for a num the number of procedures. We're not going to use 2,000. The number of procedures um, that we need to get to zero profit. So, total revenue is going to be price times volume, or 3,000 V. Total cost is going to be the fixed cost, 
3 million plus the variable cost of 1000 per visit, right? So, and if we're looking for um, break even, we're going to set profit equal to zero. So zero equals total revenue, 3000 V minus total cost, 3000, 3 million um, plus 1000 V. So carry the negative through, we get 3000 V minus 3 million minus 1000 V. Uh, combine like terms, 3000 V minus 1000 V gives us 2000 V minus 3 million. So zero equals 2000 V minus 3 million. Add 3 million to both sides, we get 2000 V equals 3 million. Uh, divide through by 2000, we get V equals 1500. So the answer to um, the answer to three then is 1500. All right. Uh, I just did four and five, so I'm going to go directly to six. <clears throat> so, um, problem six is an allocation problem uh, at the department level, and we're going to start with direct method. So, with direct method, we're going to allocate housekeeping costs to out the outpatient department. So, we've got to remember our four step method. We've got to identify the uh, cost pool first. So, the cost pool in this case is going to be the direct costs of housekeeping because it's direct method. So, we're just going to use the uh, housekeeping direct costs. And the cost driver, right, for housekeeping is number of housekeeping hours. So because this is direct method, we're allocating that 600,000 directly to inpatient and outpatient. We just want the housekeeping hours. That's 5,000 plus 12,000 is 17,000. So that's our cost driver is 17,000. Now one of the common mistakes is for people to get focused on the department that I'm asking you to allocate to. So some people did 600,000 divided by 5,000. That's not correct because we're looking for the organization level um, allocation rate, which we then use for each department respectively. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide 600,000 by 17,000. So, um, so step one, cost pool is equal to $600,000. Step two is the cost driver. That's equal to the 5,000 plus 12,000 or 17,000 hours. Step three is the allocation rate. So that is going to be 600,000 divided by 17,000. I'm going to cheat and look at my notes. That gives me... Um, 35.29 per hour. And then finally, allocation amount is going to be 35.29 per hour times the number of hours of housekeeping used by outpatient, which is 5,000. So 5,000 hours gets us our final amount, which is 176,471. So that's problem, uh, uh, that is problem six. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so problem seven says use the step-down method. So let me, uh, let me erase this stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna write in here. So step-down method. What's the difference between step-down method, right, and direct method? Well, the step-down method, um, the cost pool changes as you move down the um, uh, allocation hierarchy. So the only organization that um, whose cost pool is its direct costs 
is general administration. Let me fix this. Okay, so in order to do this allocation now, we need to first allocate, calculate how much general administration is going to housekeeping. Then we can calculate how much housekeeping goes to the outpatient department. So we're essentially going to do two problems. We're going to do we're going to do one that allocates general administration. Then we'll do one that allocates housekeeping. And we don't even have to go all the way through uh, the the general administration one. So first, what is the cost pool for general administration? It's its own direct cost. So that's one seven six seven. Sorry, one seven zero zero. What is its cost driver? The cost driver for um, general administration is number of employees. Okay, so cost driver for general administration is number of employees. Here's one of the other the other difference between step down and direct. So I am doing step down, even though I'm up here uh, by direct, I'm just doing it so you can see this. Um, so step down, you're going to use the cost driver is the sum of the driver uh, contributions by all of the departments below the department you're currently doing. So for general administration, you're gonna count all the employees in housekeeping, coding, outpatient and inpatient. So that's 20, 20, 120 for, and 280 uh, for a total of 440. Had, this, had we been doing direct method, we would have only counted the employees in outpatient and inpatient. So that would have been 120 plus 280 or um, uh, 400, right? But because we're doing step down, we're gonna count, we're gonna allocate some of general administration to housekeeping, to coding and billing, as well as to outpatient and inpatient. So now the allocation rate is 1.7 million divided by 440 employees. That gives us $364 per employee. And that's really all we need to do um, for uh, 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 general administration. So now we can go to housekeeping. What is housekeeping's cost pool? Well, it's going to be 600,000, the direct costs, plus, uh, its share of general administration, which is 364 per employee times the number of employees in housekeeping, which is 20. So the cost pool for housekeeping then is 600,000 plus approximately 77,273. Um, so a total of 677, 273. Oh, why didn't that type? 677, 273. Okay. What is the uh, cost driver for housekeeping? Well, the cost driver for housekeeping is hours. And this is step down. So we're going to look at all of the departments that come in the allocation hierarchy below housekeeping. So that's coding and billing, outpatient and inpatient. So that's 750 plus 5,000 plus 12,000. So that's 17,750 hours. All right, I'm just going to comma. What is the allocation rate? It's going to be 677, 273 divided by 17, 7, 7, 17, 750, or 38, 16 per hour. So the allocation amount that goes to the outpatient department is going to be 38, 16 times how many hours of care uh, of, of housekeeping, 5,000 hours. So that is equal to 19781. So that is the answer to seven, right? So this is actually seven. I drag that down here. Does that work? Let's see. Not quite. There we go. Looks better now. All right. 
Okay, so that's seven. Let's do eight. All right, eight, we're gonna do allocation at the, so this is chapter seven. We're gonna do allocation at the service line level. So within the department, um, the imaging department, we have X-ray and CT, and that's a typo there, it should be uh, CT, not MRI. Um, we're gonna use net charges to allocate overhead across the two service lines. Okay, so this is, um, this is an allocation problem, so we're gonna use that same four-step method. So the first thing you have to ask yourself is, what's the cost pool we're talking about? Well, the question is, allocate overhead. So the cost pool is overhead. So our cost pool is overhead. So step one, identify the cost pool. The cost pool is 200,000 in overhead. Two, we want the cost driver. We're told that the cost driver is net charges. Now remember, we want the allocation rate for the entire organization we're trying to get to. So that means we need the net charges for the entire organization. So that's that 505 or 5 million 5,000. Uh, oh, this isn't going to let me. Or will it? Oh, yeah, it will. Okay. So the cost driver is 5 million 5,000. So the allocation rate is simply the 200,000 divided by the 5 million 5,000, which is um, about 0 0.03996. You wanna get, when you're dealing with really tiny numbers, you wanna get as, as many decimals as you can handle. And so the allocation amount, we have to do two separate ones. Um, the allocation amount for X-ray, is going to be um, 0 0.3996 times, here's where we're gonna actually use the actual net charges. So 1,405, so that's gonna equal uh, 56,143 approximately. And then for CT, it's going to be the allocation rate, 309996 times 3600 is going to equal 143,856. Okay, so that is problem uh, eight. Now, I'm gonna, problem nine asks you to do the RVU method. So I'm gonna write it up here, even though we're not doing uh, RVU, uh, or even though we're not doing uh, net charges, I'm gonna write it up here so we can still keep, keep an eye on the stuff we're doing. Um, so RVU method is a little more complicated, um, but not much more complicated. The main complication in RVU method <clears throat> is your cost driver is going to be your total number of RVUs. So your, before we even get going, we wanna calculate the total RVUs. So the total RVUs are gonna be for X-ray is going to be one RVU per uh, study times 28,100 studies. And the RVUs for CT is going to be five times 3,000 studies. So that's a total of 43,100. So we have a total of 43,100 RVUs. So hold that in your head. So step one of the allocation process is identify the cost pool. Well, the cost pool is still 200,000. Cost driver is RVUs, total RVUs. So that's 43,100. The allocation rate then is the cost per RVU. So the cost per RVU is 200 divided by 43,100. That gives us 
6404 RVUs per uh, or dollars per RVU. So per RVU, right? So the allocation amount for X-ray is going to equal um, 4.6404 times the number of RVUs for X-ray, which is 28,100. So 4.6404 times 28,100 is 130,394. For uh, CT, it's gonna equal 4.6404 times five RVUs times 3,000 studies, right? Five times 3,000, that's 15,000 RVUs. So 4.6404 times 15,000 is going to give us um, 69,606. So that is the answer to nine. Um, Okay, and I'll do 10. I did 11 before. So we'll stop on 10. So the rest of the test is already recorded in the separate file. All right. 10. Uh, 10 is a lot of... I tried to come up with kind of a, a minimal ABC problem for you, uh, but it's hard. Uh, because that, you know, kind of the teaching point of the ABC is the fact that, that there are multiple steps here. The thing to remember about an ABC is basically each of these lines is its own allocation problem. So you're going to have a cost pool, which is the annual cost. You're going to come up with a driver, which we're told is, in this case, is procedure volume. You know, in the next one, it's minutes per service and so forth. We're going to come up with cost driver. We're going to come up with an allocation rate. And then we're going to come up with a co uh, allocation amount per, uh, per thing, whatever that is. So essentially, we've got four allocation problems here that we need to run through. That's, that's all it is. It's not complicated, but it is tedious. So I'm going to do some flipping back and forth between my... Um, my hand uh, sheet here and the, uh, the, the, the problem on the screen. So I'm going to stop the share. So the first one, well, let's say the first one uh, for check-in, cost pool is 50,000, right? So check, cost pool is 50,000. Cost pool for prepare is 225. So I'm just jotting these down. Prepare is 225,000. Uh, conduct. Cost pool is 550. And then billing is 75. So remember, we have 28,100 x ray procedures, 3,000 CT procedures. So the total number of procedures that we do in, in, in the case of check in is 31,100. So the cost driver for check-in is 31,100. Um, so we'll come back to that in a second. All right, so I've jotted down uh, check-in, prepare, conduct, and billing. So these are our cost pools. Those are based on the annual costs. For check-in, the driver is procedure volume. So we just take the total number of procedures, which in this case is 31,100. The allocation rate is 50,000 divided by 31,100. That gives me $1.6077 per check-in. Now, the question ultimately is, how much do we have to charge per CT? So if it costs $1.60, $1.61 roughly per check-in, then we have to charge $1.6077 per check-in to do a CT. Next, we have to ask, uh, what is the cost driver for preparing the patient to have the procedure done? Well, the total cost is 225. So, what is the driver? The driver is minutes per uh, minutes per service. So, we're going to want the total number of minutes of service done um, to prepare patients in the imaging center.
So the number of um, minutes of service uh, done is going to be five minutes of service per patient times 28,100 patients for x-ray and 15 minutes per patient times 3,000 uh, uh, procedures for CT. So it's going to simply be five times 28,100 plus 15 times 3,000. That gives us our total number of minutes to prepare patients. So what does that look like? So prepare is going to be five times 28,100 plus 15 times 3,000. That's a total of 185. So our cost driver is 185. 225 by, by 185 gives us uh, approximately $1.2129 per minute. How many minutes does it take to prepare a CT patient? It takes 15 minutes. So the um, allocation for a single CT would be 1.2129 times 15 minute, dollars per minute times 15 minutes. It's gonna be approximately $18.19. Next, we're gonna do the same thing for conduct. Excuse me, stuffy nose. Um, okay, so for conduct, it's going to be 10 minutes of service times 28,000 uh, uh, procedures plus 50 minutes times 3,000 procedures. That'll give us our total minutes to conduct all the studies. So uh, we said 10 times 28,100 plus 50 times 3,000 gives us a total of 431,000 minutes. So 431. So to get the uh, uh, allocation rate, it's 550 divided by 431. That gives us approximately $1.2761 per minute. For a CT, we do 50 minutes. So 50 times 1.2761 is approximately 6381. And then finally, billing. Uh, billing, the number is based on the number of charges. So we've got $75,000 in billing. We do typically one charge for each x-ray, two charges for each CT. So one times 28,100 plus two times 3,000 is 6,000. So 28 plus six is uh, 34,100. So that's our driver. So 34,100, so 75,000 divided by 34,100 gives us uh, a cost of $2.1944 per charge. The average CT has two charges, so two times roughly 220 is about 440. So to calculate the total cost of providing a CT, we just add each of these um, uh, costs up and we get so 1.6 plus 18.19 plus 63.8 plus 4.4 4 gives us uh, approximately 88.01. Okay. And this is where we picked up uh, on the last, uh, on the other video, but I'll go ahead and do it. So we given, so problem 11 says, assume a full price will include 15% profit. Um, what would the full price of a CT be? So the price is going to be equal to 15% profit and 85, therefore 85% 85 cost. And we know that the cost is approximately 88.01. <clears throat> so 85% of the price is equal to 8801, and then 15% of the price is equal to some unknown amount, what would the um, P have to be? What would the price have to be? So we could say, well, we know that 85% or 0.85 P is equal to 8801, divide through by 0.85, and we get P is equal to approximately 103.54. And that's uh, 
11. Okay, so the other problems are on the other video. So uh, sorry they're out of order, uh, but uh, I'll post both of them so you can look at them later.